100th video to help you all find nutritious things you can make that taste good, that don't take a lot of time to eat. I've done 99 episodes. This is my 100th. So this is a pretty cool big deal. And feel free to share all these. Mm -hmm. You can find all of my episodes if you go to my website, TomBerkenmeyer.com, just like it's spelled here, TomBerkenmeyer.com. And you'll see my YouTube plugin with the other social media. And you can find all of my 99 or 100 plus episodes as it is now. So for this one, I'm going to show you something that takes literally one second to make. And it's of the most nutritionist, most medicinal things that you can do for yourself food-wise. And just one second. And then I'm going to explain. Okay, so here we go. There's a much bigger picture involved. And here it is, the one second. I reach, I grab... Here it is. It's an apple. You were told that milk is our na nature's most perfect food. That's not true. If you're a cow, if you're a calf, needing to grow from 6 pounds or 60 pounds to 600 pounds in 6 months, then milk is perfect. But we're not, we're people. Apples. Plant-based whole food nutrition is the bigger picture. An apple, for example, has thousands of organic chemicals made by nature if it's organic. It says organic, the PLU number, nine is fine, not just for an apple, but when you're looking at produce, make sure it starts with nine whenever possible. Nine is fine. Remember that mnemonic device. But it's not just apples. Take anything, nuts, seeds, berries, mushrooms, mm -hmm. onions, that interruption, but yeah, taking nuts, seeds, berries, tomatoes, onions, mushrooms, kale, uh, spinach, uh, arugula, ashwanga, um, acai, all those things, marengo, mangoes, plant-based, natural, whole food, nutrition, that's where it's at. That's when people come off safely with their doctor's approval, medications that they eventually no longer need because they built their immune system by eating plant-based whole food. Mm -hmm. yes, see you, Very nice to see you and everybody else coming on. Thanks. So here's the deal. I know a lot of people that eat healthy ingredients, but they're not eating a healthy diet. So what does that mean? Take um, olive oil, for example. Olive oil is a healthy ingredient. And a lot of people hear that and they're like, okay, it's a healthy ingredient. I should be putting olive oil and slathering it in everything. This is just one example. So what happens is like, basically the, the oil is taken out of olives in a very condensed form that the body doesn't really know what to do with, okay? But if you eat an olive, like the whole olive, you're getting the olive oil, but you're also getting the rest of the olive. That the body know what's, knows what to do with. It's a really simple concept. Nature made this perfect food for us, but then we go and manipulate it, and we extract certain things. Even if it's a healthy ingredient, even if it's not uh, gluten-free, it's just a small food, so plant-based and whole food. Nothing added, nothing taken away. There's no sugar added, no salt added, none of that stuff. And just apply that to like everything. If you like salad dressings, you can go search recipes. And I've got some as well. You can go to my YouTube channel and look for oil-free salad dressings. And what you're going to find, especially the ones that I do, I'll add like different kinds of nuts, right? Like maybe pecans, maybe, maybe some olives for the olive oil and maybe almonds. Walnuts make a really great oil-free dressing, but there's still oil in it. There's just, it's a whole food oil. Does that make sense? So I got these wonderful oil-free dressings where I add like walnuts to it and different vinegars and things like that. So now instead of just adding pure straight up oil, which the body doesn't know what to do with, it's too much, it's condensed, but you get the walnuts in there and it's awesome. Same thing for like pasta sauce. What if you what if you uh, blended up a, a, a carrot, you know, pureed a carrot for sugar instead of adding sugar, which, you know, sugar is an isolate, even if it's healthy sugar. It's a healthy ingredient, healthy sugar, so people add sugar to it because they think it's healthy. But it's not. The, it's an isolate. It's not whole. You know what I mean? It's not whole. But you do something like you puree a carrot up for your pasta sauce, or you add some dates or some prunes for the sweetener in your pasta sauce. Nothing taken away, nothing added, every ingredient this whole food, just like this apple. Mmm. And it's sweet and delicious. So start thinking in terms of that, okay? So everything is plant-based whole food. Mmm. And this is about the easiest thing you can do as far as prepping something. As far as stuff that's a little bit more involved than just grabbing an apple 
or grabbing a piece of lettuce <laughs> or nuts and seeds and eating it that way. Do that because it's so incredibly good for you. But I've got mostly episodes of uh, you know combining ingredients, but it's whole food ingredients. You don't see me adding sugars and other things like that and other isolates to my foods. You're going to learn plant-based whole food cooking and juicing and smoothies and things like that. And then also throughout the day, grab a handful of raw cashews and just eat them up. Instead of getting cashew oil, or even coconut oil for that matter. Eat, eat a whole coconut, you know, the coconut flesh. Get your oil that way through the flesh. Now you're getting the whole coconut with the oil and the flesh and everything. And then the body can assimilate it and put it out there of energy instead of storing it as fat and creating other problems. <laughs> Laura, black walnut oil. You know, I don't know if that's an antifungal. You could research it. I, I honestly don't know. But, um, and there's a time and place for oils. So don't get me wrong, but generally speaking, if we're ingesting for what we eat, you're better off if you get your food from plant-based whole food sources. That includes oils. Instead of olive oil, eat an olive. <laughs> you're getting the oil, but now you're getting the whole olive. Uh, and, and same thing for like pasta sauces. I already gave that example. Instead of adding sugar to it, puree up a carrot or a fig or a prune or something like that, right? <laughs> so that concludes this video. Please share these great ideas because there's a lot of people eating healthy ingredients and they wonder why they're not so healthy and they're gaining weight or not losing weight and they still get health problems. It's not enough to eat healthy ingredients. You want whole food ingredients, isolates, added, nothing taken away, and that's it. <laughs> Susie, no, I'm not a vegetarian, but I eat mostly plant-based whole foods. I don't do dairy. I do a little bit of meat carefully sourced. And that works for me. All right. It's great to see everybody. Love your comments. Share this. TomBerkenmeyer.com is my website. You can go there. And from, my channel, and from there you can find my playlist. I have 100 plus episodes now. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Protein sources. Laura, eating plants like uh, broccoli, any kind of dark leafy green, cacao, quinoa, and I actually have a list of uh, 10 vegan sources of protein, 10 plant-based sources of protein on my website at tomberkemeyer.com. Go there and hover over uh, Get Healthy, and you'll see my healthy grocery list, and you'll see 10 vegan sources of protein. But I gave you a few just now <laughs> for some vegan sources. Almonds, nuts, seeds. I mean, that's going to have proteins as well as calcium and magnesium and all those wonderful things, too. Great comments. I love this. This is so cool. Anybody else? I guess I'll ask before I shut, uh, turn this one down. It's pretty cool that nowadays I can do a live feed, so my 100th episode. If I reached 100th episode like a year ago, this wouldn't have been available, right? <laughs> but now it's available. I can do live feeds. Hi, Dolly. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. Uh, you can all go back and watch this if you just chimed in or if you missed the beginning. And you can watch it as often as you want and share this. And TomBerkenmeyer.com is, is my website. Thank you to Laura. And thanks to everyone else for being part of this and supporting these great messages that I love getting out there, okay? Ramona, you just chimed in. This will be available within a minute on my timeline so you can go back and watch, okay? Bye for now, everybody. And thank you, everyone. And share these great ideas, because the more these ideas get out there, the more people can benefit from it and get healthier, which is a good thing, right? Mwah.